Hello everybody, as promised, uh, today we are uh, here testing the new uh, Sigrent function generator with the 500 megahertz of bandwidth together with the LeCroy oscilloscope. Uh, pardon me from the beginning if this video will be a little bit shaky, but I have to move uh, the camera from one instrument to the other. So this is a really nice equipment. Uh, HDO 6104A MS with 1 GHz uh, bandwidth MSO. In fact, we also have the digital connector, 4 channel, 12 bit of resolution. So, I already uh, set the unit in order to have um, the frequency and the amplitude peak to peak. Uh, it's very important. Uh, to remember that when we take measurement we always need to bring the waveform on the full screen because the measurement is made much more accurately so don't forget to use your uh, vertical knob in modal in in, in uh, with fine not with this jump but pressing typically it works like this on every scope and you can then bring this to the maximum amplitude of, of the unit. Just don't forget to go outside also. Don't go outside, so the measurement will be good. You can see me there, hello, hello. Sorry for the bad quality, but I have to make it quick because as I said already, there is a lot of uh, workload and uh, I would rather make the video instead of waiting at times and not making the video. So here we go. We connected the channel one of the signal generator to channel one of the oscilloscope. Uh, just a quick look to the just a quick look to the function generator. It's very smooth. Oh, by the way, let, let's uh, stop it and uh, let's check the booting time i see it's very quick i believe quicker quicker than the sdg 1000 or sdg 2000 let's check it Thinky, thinky, mumble, mumble. Here we are, ready. So, when we start the unit, even if the channel was on when we shut off, the channel now is off. So to activate the channel, we will go. We will press this outward. This channel is the channel. This button is the button who allow us to copy channel one to channel two. They are two identical exit. Uh, I don't know. The unit itself looks a little bit uh, yellow from the monitor, from the camera, but it's white. I don't know, maybe it's the light of my laboratory today in a foggy, in a foggy morning. So as you can see here, uh, we can, uh, here we can uh, set up the frequency, the amplitude, offset, phase, harmonics, uh, don't get crazy looking how can I change the load because there is no uh, physical button. You have to press the touch screen and then you can move from IZ to 50 ohm. And we, uh, we want to stay on the IZ to check the maximum voltage peak to peak. So we go back to return. Uh, again, when we are in frequency, we can, uh, we can uh, move like this we can move like this or we can write for example uh, our value same for all the other application uh, when we go down to waveform we have a sine wave square ramp pulse noise dc arbitrary prbs and the iq iq is not active uh, we have this option i just need to have the time to activate and uh, and show it to you but today unluckily it's no time for it so let's stay focused on the sine wave which is what uh, it's uh, important for us and what we can see uh, for example quickly we can check the voltage parameter 
uh, for example, we go to 10 megahertz. When we move to amplitude, if we go up, the unit will tell you, be careful, amplitude, upper limit, 20 volt. So now, if we move, for example, to 50 megahertz, we check the amplitude. Amplitude is 10 volt peak to peak. When we move to, for example, 100 megahertz, amplitude will be then 10 volts again. When we move to 200 megahertz, then amplitude will be 3 volt peak to peak. We will test only the maximum of, viv of these voltages with the oscilloscope to make the video short. Then, if you have questions, please uh, write a comment in uh, below. And when I have time, I will come back and do more video. So if we go like 350, I'm testing the steps also of uh, the other unit. Amplitude, again, 3 volt peak peak. And when we go up to our 500 megahertz, we will see that the amplitude will be 1.280 volt peak peak. So let's go back to 10 uh, megahertz to have the maximum of, uh, of a voltage and then we activate the channel and we move to the oscilloscope <laughs> probably not the best transition but the best I can do today again sorry for that so I will bring down It's pretty pretty good. So what we can see here, what we can see here, we have 10 megahertz and 21 volt peak to peak. So so far so good. So let's move to uh, 50. Let's move to 50 megahertz. So we go back to the unit frequency 50 megahertz. And now we have maximum volt. Uh, peak to peak 10 volt. Uh, this will scale down automatically when we move the frequency because we were at the maximum of the 10 megahertz then it will always scale down to the other frequency. So now we have we have this 50 we have this 50 maybe we open a little bit Yeah, beautiful 50 megahertz and uh, 9.5 volt. So we move now to 100 megahertz. It's still 10 volt, pick, pick. Yeah. We have our 100 megahertz and 9 volt peak to peak. So yeah, there is something missing, but still there is a cable. I don't believe this cable is the beautiful one. Uh, probably a kind of SMA uh, with a shielded cable would be would be better. So let's move to 200 megahertz. As you can see now, we went down to 3 volt peak peak. As you can see, I'm not cutting, I'm just moving from, from one instrument to the other, or I'm very skilled on editing, but believe me, I'm not, as you can see also. <laughs> so, yeah, what we have here? Here we have a little bit of uh, decreasing value. So we have a very good 200 megahertz sine wave actually this is really good and also very well measured but the voltage peak to peak is uh, kind of uh, a little bit smaller instead of 3 volt it's 2.2 um, yeah uh, something really good i can show you also from the unit i want to show 
where the unit is taking the measurement. So if we go to measurement, measurement setup, uh, I know I'm very skilled with the unit. <laughs> and then here we can activate the tailored and also for the P2 we are going to activate the tailored, the tailed, I don't know. And what you see here is the vertical, the vertical where is taking our uh, 2.2 uh, voltage measurement. And on the P1, so this is the place where is taking the um, uh, frequency measurement. We, actually, we can change these gates. Uh, LeCroy offer a huge and deep way to make measurement. But yeah, so let's just go back and deactivate. And uh, we go back to our full display. Time to move to a higher frequency, let's say 350. Now we are still at 3 volt. But yeah, I can imagine it's going down, it's bathing a little bit. So let's take up this. Of course, if you see I'm making, in your point of view, I'm making mistakes, just let me know. <clears throat> I will uh, I will come back and uh, make some better measurement. But what you can see is, yeah, the, the, the frequency 350 megahertz and 1.8 volts. So we are uh, below the power expectation, but still very beautiful, uh, very beautiful. Oh yeah, there is also something we have to consider. This oscilloscope, it's, uh, <clears throat> this oscilloscope doesn't offer a very fast sampling rate. In fact, what you can see at 350 megahertz, you can already see the, 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 the point. Can you see them? Those are the point of the sampling points. So maybe if we will test again the unit, the, the generator with a higher speed sampling rate unit, the voltage reading will be better. But still, the quality of the sine wave it's really, really, really good. I can tell you, it's really. I would not expect. It's really good. And then, if you need more power. Probably with this frequency, you will also need an amplifier. An amplifier in any case. So let's go to 500. Sorry, let's go to 500 megahertz, which is the limit of the unit. As you can see now, we have 1.2 uh, 80 volt peak peak. Still IZ on. So let's check one second. Yeah, it's going down now. Yeah. All right. So, as expected, we have this. Wow. Well, I can tell you, look at the frequency, boom, 500 megahertz. Yes, okay, we have uh, half of the voltage peak to peak. Uh, maybe I'm making some mistake, really, I'm sorry, I have no big time to organize. But still, uh, I believe when we go up to this frequency, again, you need other kind of uh, material for having a bigger, bigger power. So... You, and also you can see we are looking, we are with the limitation of the sampling rate. You see it's a little bit square. So we definitely need going to 500 megahertz. If uh, we multiply by three, uh, at least to be comfortable with an Aquist law, we, we would need uh, uh, 1.5 uh, giga sample per second real time. So, yeah, maybe next time with a different oscilloscope, but still, believe me, the, the quality we are getting out of this unit, it's really, it's really, really good. So, uh, again, we see the measurement, 
uh, back to the unit I can tell you the unit itself looks really really nice we have this two channel knob you can press touch screen very responsive as you can see look very very responsive no problem at all so for this video it's uh, everything uh, thank you very much for your attention and sorry for uh, this again for this quick video please share uh, uh, the video with your friends and uh, colleagues thumbs up if possible this will help to grow the channel and for any question again write the comment below and uh, i think this time we are also going to add a discount code for everybody who want to purchase uh, the three unit i remember the unit are 200 350 and 500 megas for now is everything visit butterfly.com for more uh, information data sheet and manual ah by the way i got informed by siglent that the user man the, the, the paper and the, the cd rom is not into the unit anymore so you see in the description i put the link of the unboxing where i said there is no documentation but this is normal this is standard so you can download everything from the website thank you very much again see you soon bye